Okay, we're coming to you from PA Biodiesel Supply, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge. We're going to give you a look into a lot of the units so you kind of can get an idea of what you're looking at. We're going to start with this unit right here. Okay, um, right here is the bowl. Okay, we're talking a seven and a half inch bowl. It has a depth of two inches. Um, this bowl for its size will hold just a little over two cups. Okay, has a one inch lip. Um, this is the cone. Oil goes in here. It's forced out to the bottom. The oil will build up in here. Once it crosses this lip, that's what sprays out. Okay, so you understand how this works. If you put just a little under two cups in here, you could open this up and you shouldn't be getting anything spraying out because the force should hold it all right up against the wall. Okay. Um, we ran these units and then we drained them. Like I said, this one here holds uh, just a little over two cups. Okay. I'm bringing you down here to this unit here. Get the lid off. Okay. This bowl width is seven and a half inches. The depth up to the curve is two and a half inches. The bowl holds a little over two, a half a gallon. Um, the one thing that kind of baffles me is the fact that this is curved up. Okay, with the holes right here, you're filling oil all the way up to here. But the further away you are from the center is really where the G-force is maximized. Okay, so I'm not an engineer. I suspect there's less and less G-forces, but how that affects anything, I really couldn't tell you. Um, again, this one holds just a little over half a gallon. Now, we're coming to this unit here. This unit has a bowl width of 10 inches. A bowl depth of two and a half inches. The bowl will hold half a gallon and the lip is an inch and three quarter. Okay. Um, it's a nice unit. It's it's heavy unit, that's for sure. Um, and again, it holds just about half a gallon. Uh, the ultimate force center fuge. Okay. We got a bowl width of nine inches. It's a three inch deep bowl. This will hold half a gallon. Okay, the lip is two inches. That oil will stay in this unit for three minutes. That's at a 10 gallon per hour flow rate. Okay, whereas, um, like I said, this unit will stay for three minutes. Um, and that's what we drained out of the bowl, a little over half a gallon. This unit here would be in for 45 seconds. That, that's the difference. Time in the bowl is critical. Okay, You can get three minutes in the bowl with a 10 gallon per hour flow rate, or you can get 45 seconds from some of the other people. Um, I'm going to go back to it again. Single pass. Uh, I want the oil in my vehicle to be clean. Seriously. Um, I'll do overkill. Uh, I want to know it's clean. With these units, you're either going to have to send your oil out to be tested, or you're going to have to run it through again. Okay, we're already doing a series where we're running the same oil through a unit. We ran it through once at 10, 11 gallons. We didn't adjust the flow rate. We pumped it right back up to the tank and we're going to run it through again. We're going to show you the contaminants again. We're going to add heat to it then at 10 gallons an hour and run it through again. And then we're going to turn it down to 5 gallons. And you are going to be amazed at what it pulls out. Um, I will not call these, this a single pass. Okay? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's just... There's not too many centrifuges in the world that can just take random oil, you know, this dirty, that dirty, this dirty, and 
it's all going to be single pass and it's going to all be down to below half a micron. It just doesn't happen. Okay, um, watch some of our videos. Uh, I'm going to show you the next one. I'm going to show you our setup for our testing. Okay, I think you'll like it. Again, we're PA Biodiesel Supply, uh, home of the Ultimate Force Centrifuge. Thank you.